Hi Gemini, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what are your person's current feelings for you? What are their current feelings for you? So whoever it is that you're dealing with in love, whoever it is that you're connecting with in love, just think about that person right now and let's see what are this person's current feelings for you. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started and just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, let's get started. Spirit, please show me what are this person's current feelings for Gemini. Okay, let's get two shuffles, two shuffles, that's one, and two. Alright Gemini, first card we have for you is the Ten of Cups in Reverse. The Page of Cups in Reverse. The Nine of Cups Upright. And the Knight of Rods in Reverse. Alright Gemini, so in terms of this person's current feelings, I think they're a little bit disappointed here Gemini. They feel like you've been closing yourself off emotionally from them. You haven't been open with your emotions. You haven't been expressing yourself with, in terms of how you feel. Um, and they, they, they kind of feel rejected here by you, okay? Or they feel like you've been avoiding them. Um, and the Ten of Cups, I do feel like this person had a certain um, illusion of having a perfect happy you know relationship with you they had in mind having a happily ever after with you um, the nine of cups I do feel like this is still their wish you know they they're still holding on to that wish of having a a happy relationship with you a committed relationship with you but they do feel like um, things are moving backwards instead of moving forwards with the knight of rods and they do feel like you're avoiding them and you're um, you're not really taking a lot of action towards them okay so let's just go ahead and clarify these cards or let's look at your current feelings for this person actually let's get the the other side of the, the picture. Spirit, please show me what are Gemini's current feelings for this person. Okay, one shuffle. First card we have here is the King of Pentacles upright. For some of you, Gemini, you might be feeling like this person is a little bit too immature for you. Either in they're a lot younger in age than you, or they just act, you know, a lot younger than they are. Okay. What else? We have here the Knight of Swords upright. The Five of Pentacles in Reverse. And the Five of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, I feel, I feel like you're thinking about this person. You know, you're thinking about this situation here with the Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like you're analyzing things, but I do feel like 
you know, you're not really sure whether you want to return back to this person or if you would rather just, you know, um, you know, give up on this person, okay? I'm going to actually clarify your feelings here. Spirit, clarify this King of Pentacles, please. Tell me more about the King of Pentacles. Get one shuffle. We have the Ten of Wands. You might be feeling like this is a, a heavy burden or this is turning into a heavy burden for you. And the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So you might be tired of having this relationship or having this connection with this person and you might be feeling like it's time to break free and time to, you know, um, reclaim your independence or reclaim your singlehood, you know. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords in reverse, please. I mean, a bright Knight of Swords, a bright. One card here, two of pentacles in reverse. You're making a decision. What else? And the nine of wands in reverse. Let me get one more card, please, for that knight of swords. We have here the five of pentacles. You might be deciding here to abandon this person, Gemini. Yeah, I think I definitely I definitely feel like your thoughts are a little bit like contra contradicting themselves, okay? With the Knight of Swords energy. I do feel like you have a lot of mixed ideas or mixed feelings here. But I do get the feeling that you want to free yourself, okay? You want to um, detach from this situation. I think it's been causing you too much stress, okay? Clarify Five of Pentacles, please. Three of Swords, yeah, this is a stressful energy here. Disappointment, card of disappointment. What else? Six of Pentacles in reverse. You feel like there's a lack of balance and stability in this relationship. There could have been a third party situation. Um, yeah, you might be feeling like this person is not really, like I said, they're acting very young. They're acting immature and you don't feel like they're putting in the effort here into having a an adult, harmonious, balanced relationship, you know? A mature relationship. Clarify the Five of Swords, please. The Eight of Wands in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. You feel like even if you were to return back to this person, you feel like things would still not really move forward. You feel like things wouldn't progress between you two. Um, and you feel like they're, this person is not going to be committed or they're not going to offer commitment. Um, and I think you're tired of waiting with the King of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. I think you're looking for something more mature, more... Um, more stable, okay, with with more long-term capability. All right, that's what I see, Gemini. So, yeah, let me know if this resonated with you. 
um, like I said, I do feel like this person is just not really, you know, at the same level that you are in terms of, um, like I said, maturity. I feel like you're a lot more mature than this person, okay, Gemini? I feel like this person has, they still have some growing up to do. All right, Gemini, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Gemini. Take care.